Hi, I'm Jared Joplin, president of American Precision Arms, and today I'm going to go over with you guys on how to properly tune one of our Gen 3 muzzle brakes. I think this video is probably a little bit overdue. There's a lot of you guys out there using this brake that probably haven't tuned it incorrectly, and there's a lot of you guys out there that maybe just purchased this or maybe you have purchased it, but you really don't know how to tune it. And uh, it's really a simple process, but today I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. One of the first things you're going to notice about this muzzle brake is a little different are the, the top ports here. Well, not only did we put top holes here or ports to allow downward pressure to reduce your muzzle rise, uh, they're threaded so we can move screws in or out to control that muzzle rise. So the most pressure is going to be closest to the muzzle. So these here, the ports in the rear, are going to have the most pressure out of them. The ones in the front are going to have the least amount of pressure in them. So when your brake comes, the first thing you're going to do is install all the screws in the brake. Now you can see that we have all the screws installed and we're going to put the rifle on a barricade, not in the prone. We're going to put on a barricade where the gun will actually move. You need to do this prior to zeroing your rifle because obviously we are creating downward pressure on the on the uh, on the barrel so that is going to change your zero period again i mean we can't defy physics um, the more pressure we put down here the more that's going to affect our zero so this is something you want to do right off the bat when you install your muzzle brake is take it to the range get everything set up then get your zero and then move forward from there you can see now i've got my rifle set up on a barricade now i mean you don't have to have a prs barricade you can use whatever you have at your disposal at the range i mean you could possibly even make some kind of setup on your bench, but I'm using a game changer bag. This is my favorite bag and this is a bag I use, but maybe you use something else, whatever. It doesn't matter what you use. It only matters that you have this rifle roughly balanced uh, on the barricade. This is not something you're gonna do out of the prone. If you do this in the prone, all your pressure is just going straight down in the bipod. I mean, you, you gotta set this up so you can watch your muzzle rise. That's, that's the whole reason behind these top ports. So um, I've got my power set down to six, and I want to watch, say, a 400-yard target. I honestly, I mean, you should, to be safe, we should make sure that we are fairly close to this target when we shoot at it, but I don't care if you hit the target or not. I only want to know when I set this up, do my crosshairs go up or do they go down? What we want is straight back. So when we first start, and I can pretty much guarantee you with all the screws in there, the reticle, when you shoot, this rifle is going to tilt like this. So you watch through your scope picture and you fire a shot. Do my crosshairs do this or that? That's it. It's just that simple. So if it goes up, we're simply going to take the first two screws out in the front. We recommend starting in the front because they're the least effective. But honestly, it doesn't matter how you come to the end result. It only matters that you do this properly. So we take two screws out of the front. We come back behind the rifle, we take another shot at 400 yards. Did the reticle go up or did it go down? Guess what, still going up. So we take two more screws out. So we just repeat that process and you may find that you need all the screws out. You may find that you get to a point and it's like, well, when I take you know, the, these two screws out, I got four screws in. When I, put, when I leave four screws in, it's still coming slightly up and when I um, take it down to two screws, it goes slightly the opposite direction. So maybe you get to a point where you're like, okay, I've got three screws in. So you got an odd number on one side, it has a screw in or out and it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is does the reticle go up or does it go down? That's all that matters. There are a couple of other things that I want to point out while we're talking about this. So if you're not a PRS shooter, say you're, um, you're a deer hunter and you bought this fancy muzzle brake just to, uh, you know, to help mitigate your recoil on your rifle um, don't expect this to be the end all be all change everything if you have a six pound rifle and a 300 ultra mag guess what you're going to get some muzzle rise i don't care there's nothing out there that's going to prevent that but hopefully this will give you a decent it's going to give you a good bit of recoil reduction but we may not be able to get all the um, all the the muzzle rise out of it i mean we cannot defy physics um, another thing i wanted to point out is um, we've had some questions, does it matter if the screw is halfway in, halfway out? No, that doesn't change anything. The only thing that's actually going to matter here is if is the screw in or is it removed. So once you get all of this set, you're going to take some alcohol, some Q-tips, and you're going to clean 
Whatever ports you need to leave some screws in, you're gonna use the supplied uh, rock set that we send with the brake, and you're gonna rock set those uh, in place. Put a little bit of rock set uh, in the hole, take the Allen wrench, kind of rub it around in the hole, put some on the screw, screw it down in there, and leave it. Once that brake is set for that gun, you should never change it. Um, another question that we get is uh, leveling, um, leveling this brake up. So it doesn't matter if it's perfectly centered, um, if it's perfectly to three and nine o'clock, um, I level my gun up and I stand right over the gun, which it's kind of sitting up tall right now, I can't do it, but I look straight over the brake and you can see through these ports and you can tell if this thing is, is plumb or not. So level the gun, look straight over the brake through these ports and you can tell if you're doing anything more than that that's just your anal retention taking over and it simply does not matter now if you're kind of one of these whiz bang guys that's into three gun and i mean they can do some funky stuff depending on their shooting style but it's you're gonna have to be just that good and you're gonna know how to tune you're gonna have to know how to tune your rifle just that well so sometimes we have guys in the three gun world that will tilt this thing one way or the other that's just based on their body position and their shooting style um, and what works for them is not going to work for you so you have to find out what works for you with your gun your muzzle brake setup more than anything else I appreciate you guys watching this video. I appreciate you guys being our customers. We look forward to seeing you guys out on the range and serving you in the future. Thank you.